Hello, everyone. Hi. Hey, Shanae. Hey, Divas Treasures. Hey, hey, babe. Thanks for the hearts. Hope everybody had a good day today. Um, I just wanted to share a few things. You know, I'm getting addicted to this uh, <laughs> Periscope thing. So thanks for the hearts. And I'm probably going to be sharing a little more frequently with you guys. You know, I, I share about my um, weight loss journey, but I'll call it my faith weight loss journey. Because this time around, I'm not just doing it on my own. I'm asking God to give me wisdom and increase my faith so that this is a lifestyle change forever. <laughs> not just the, you know, something that I, I go through and lose the weight and then yo-yo back and forth. So anyway, thanks, Divas, for sharing um, the this episode and inviting followers. I appreciate it. But anyway, did you guys have a good day today? And you know what? I want to thank my um, viewers on the web. I don't get to see who you guys are. So if you want to, and if this is for everybody as well, but especially for my um, followers on the, on the web, please follow me on social media, Share My World Show. You can uh, follow me on my Facebook page, and that has a link to my blog. We can get more details about my journey. So please, please, please follow me on Facebook at sharemyworldshow.com. I'm on Twitter. Um, this is my Lakeisha account, but I also have a Twitter account for Share My World Show. I'm on Instagram as well. But anyway, I'm not going to be long with, with you guys tonight. Thanks for the hearts. Thanks for the hearts. I had a great day today um, because I woke up. Well, if you follow my journey, you know that I'm trying to start my day. Not trying to. I am starting my day with the first thing on my mind, God, and doing um, affirmations and declarations, that kind of thing, to spend the time with God. And it's been really helpful because before I would spend time getting on Facebook, checking everything else, and then, you know, my day would just kind of be held to skelter, right? Well, today, how about I got, um, you know, Periscope notification after I was on the phone with my husband, and it was an invitation to watch a devotional um, by Kim Cash Tate. And I'm going to say different names on different scopes that I saw today so that you can go follow them as well. And her devotion was about the courage to speak the name. It was just a confirmation to me that I need to tell my story. You know, tell my story about what God has done for me. For you, whatever your story is, whoever you, you know, serve, that's your story. But it's courage. You have to do it. Thank you for the hearts. You have to do it. Then, how about I, I got another invitation <laughs> to watch another scope. And I was just scoping this morning, huh? And it was morning prayer and devotions. And that one was Christiana Clark. Hey, Shanae. And Christiana, she, I mean, man, it, it was like, it reminded me of when I used to do uh, morning prayer calls and then when I had um, a small group. Hey, Miss Kimberly, welcome, welcome. And she just, you know, really, you know, interceded for people. She took prayer requests and there was praise music. It was just a beautiful um, moment where this is on a scope. This was, you know, she was basically having church in her house. Thanks for the hearts. And it really allowed me to you know, really have some, some devotion time. So that was Christiana Clark. Then I got another invitation later on um, by being in another group that I'm in, and it was from Bible News Radio. And she was talking about praying for your marriage. Very transparent lady. She's a, um, a counselor, marriage and family therapist counselor. Thanks for the hearts. And she just talked about you know, how we should pray for our husbands or pray for our spouses. And she just really shared about her marriage. And if you've been following me, you know, I just did a show, you know, celebrating my 18th um, wedding anniversary. And I said, you know, God, he's just so faithful and he flows in the spirit, right? Um, the Holy Spirit is moving everywhere. So for praying for our marriages, it's, it was just a confirmation again for me. And then finally, I saw another scope today that was excellent and it was from right to heal um my friend shanae redden um shanae norwood i'm sorry she did a, a scope with um her friend who's fashion designer kimberly goldson who was on project runway and it was about keys to on how to deal with disappointment when disappointment strikes 
very, very moving, very transparent scope. So please, you know, follow those people that I just mentioned, and you can um, see the replays of those. But again, just confirmation about, you know, this road to weight loss is not easy. You know, the road that you are traveling to fulfill your purpose is not going to be easy. You know why it's not going to be? Because God is developing you. He's shaping you. He's forming your character so that, number one, you could tell other people so that they can be able to be inspired and encouraged. And two, so you don't quit. You don't give up. And in Shanae's interview with Kimberly, that's how she said she was able to not give up by calling on God. So... All those things were just great, and it was just encouraging me to be like, you know what, I'm doing the right thing. I'm sharing my story with you guys is is a way of me being healed, me being able to be restored, refreshed, and renewed, and to hopefully inspire and encourage you guys. So um, I just wanted to share that in terms of, you know, giving a little props to those people for their scopes and for you to follow them because, you know, their story, it may be a little different from mine, but we all stem from the same thing that we want to overcome and we want to inspire and encourage other people. So my scope today, I don't want to, right? And then accepting the challenge, facing our fears. Well, I did not want to do this food and drink journal. That's the challenge that I'm on now with... Um, for this month. I didn't really want to do it. And I kept saying, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Right. And then God really spoke to me today and showed me what, what that really meant. I don't want to, for me in this case, was a fear, a defense mechanism. Fear is a ugly thing that, you know, comes in and really tries to rob you of your life. I mean, now you would think, I don't want to, where is that coming from? Like, wow, how would you associate that with fear? Well, for me, it became a fear of failure, a fear of being controlled, a fear of disappointment, you know, fill in the blank, whatever other fears you want to put in there. But for me, that's what it was. And I had to say, you know what, thank you, God, for showing that to me because I don't want to get caught up in fear. I've overcome fear. I've been delivered from fear. I don't want to go back. So for me... I had to face my fears. I had to accept the challenge, literally accept the challenge of, you know what, go all in. Start, you know, not only, thanks for the hearts, not only record my um, my food and drinks, right, but get in there and do the calories. And let me tell you something. <laughs> I found, you know, this app, you know, this app for everything, right, to record my food and drink. And as of now, I don't know what time it is, um, if I don't eat anymore for the rest of the day, do you realize I'm leaving like 500 and something calories on the table based on what I'm supposed to be eating um, and consuming um, daily so that I can have the weight loss goals that I want to have per week based on my exercise routine? I mean, I would have never known that if I hadn't accepted this challenge and faced my fears of actually doing it. And listen, I'm a technical person. Um, I was an IT consultant. I used to, you know, help write systems. I used to test systems. I was one of those people that they would call in the middle of the night to come in and fix problems, you know, with production runs, that kind of thing. And we had to analyze data. I mean, you see how the enemy just really tricks you to, to not um, focus on the details because, you know, they say the devil is in the details. Well, God is in the details. You know, God created our bodies, right? I mean, all these muscles, tendons, bones, veins, arteries, you know, synapses for our nerves. I mean, everything is in perfect place and works in perfect unison, right? Why wouldn't we want to know exactly what we're consuming and how it is affecting our bodies? But here's the deal. Even though I have all those calories on the table... I realized because I was eating processed foods, some, some things that I had eaten were processed, right? How much sodium was in there. And for me, I, my family has a, a, um, excuse me, a history of heart disease. So like diabetes and hypertension. And I even had um, high blood pressure when I was pregnant for, for my pregnancies. And so, hello, God is tr trying to show, t God trying to tell me something stop eating the processed foods okay that's number one but two to see how much I was consumed because I went over even though I had the I have like 500 something calories if I don't eat anything else for the rest of the day evening on the table from my meals guess I had I was in negative for the um 
the sodium. That's not good. So, and then all and something else too, because I was able to find the calories and and the nutrition, you know, content. Thanks for the hearts. Based on the foods, I was able to make some different choices, guys. Again, you know, my husband posted something today, and I was just like, "Yes, babe, let's get it." You know, and I've said this before. We, need, I want to be free. Right, I, you, you follow my journey. I want to be free in every area, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. You can't be free if you're bound. Okay, you can't be free if you're letting certain areas paralyze you and hold you hostage. Right, you have to get in and, and know what's going on. And so for me, knowing okay what's going on with my body, knowing what's going on with the meals that I'm having or whatever, is giving me power. I'm making sacrifices now. So I can live in freedom later, right? And what the, what does that mean, making sacrifices now? That means being disciplined, being committed, you know, to, to, to my life, for the rest of my life. And so I was able to say, well, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat half. Or even knowing what these portion serving sizes really are. Man, if you knew, sometimes, you know, you, know, you just don't know. And and I've said that too, right? You think you know, but you have no idea. And here, this is what I'm saying to myself: You think you know, but you have no idea. I had no idea that some of these serving sizes were like a quarter of a cup. I mean, like, do you know how small a quarter of a cup is? I bake, you know, often. Look at a quarter of a cup and see that if that's what you want, like your pasta or your macaroni, to, your cheeseburger macaroni from Hamburger Helper to look like. That's a small portion, boy, I tell you. So, anyway, I was really blessed to see that today. And I'm glad that God, you know, helped me be redirected so, you know, I could get back and get on track and do this. And, and to share this with you, whatever God, whatever you're saying I don't want to about, and I'm not saying, okay, I don't want to eat ice cream, I don't want to eat vanilla, I want to eat chocolate. Okay, that's a preference. I'm saying, just really evaluate those statements that you're saying. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to. What is it? Is it rooted in fear? If it is, accept the challenge, face the fears, be brave, be courageous, move forward. Because I promise you, God has something bigger. That's what Shanae was saying and Kim was saying today about having something bigger. You know, you don't see the, the bigger picture. I would have never known about the um, different breakdowns of my meals and how it was affecting me with the carbs, the fats, the sodium, and the calories, um, I forget what else is um, tracking or whatever. I would have never known these things if I hadn't faced my fears and, and went and, and actually looked and, I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue tied, recorded my um, intake for the day. So here we are. This is day three, and I'm, I'm in it. You know, and I'm just looking forward to see what God's going to do for the rest of this month and really for the rest of my life. And even, oh, something else I was going to say, too. Um, I'm just real comfortable with you guys, huh? I'm scratching my head and everything. <laughs> but how about when we make these choices and we do these things right now, you know, it's a training issue. Okay, no, I don't want to sit there. I didn't want, okay, here, yeah, I don't want to, right? I didn't want to have this feeling of being like, oh, I have to, you know, sit here and, and take out a quarter cup, you know, measure and then, okay, no, but see, guess what's going to happen? Just like when you were little and you learned your ABCs, right? You know how to read now, right? Because you learned the ABCs. You, you learned, well, well, hopefully if you learned it phonetically, then you knew what the sounds were. Then you know how to put it together. It's bit by bit. So God has, again, put me through a process to say, you know what? Then you'll know. Okay, look, a small apple, that's 50-something calories. That's this sugars. That's this, this, this. You see? Oh, okay, yeah. If you want to do the hamburger helper again, mm, that's a lot of sodium. You see what I'm saying? I mean, so then I can be I can be in control and make the choices versus later on, okay, now I have, you know, well, I'm not speaking that over me, but a person would have high blood pressure or hypertension because of the fact that their sodium intake was so high or they had retaining a lot of water. So anyway, follow me on social media, share my world show, check out my Facebook page, follow me. And then also, if you want to, you also have a... a a weight loss journey and you want some help some accountability 
well, not accountability, like I'm going to tell you what to do, but really support, inspiration, and encouragement. You know, come follow me on my Facebook page, and you'll actually find a link for the fitness group that I started called FAITH. It's an acronym for Fit and Inspired Through the Holy Spirit Weight Loss Journey. It's a closed group, so you don't have to worry about people seeing what we're posting in there. But it's a, another way for us to kind of, you know, connect as well. So thanks so much for tuning in, and... Um, I hope you guys have a great night, and I'll be back to share some more with you on The Scope.